Welcome to Cellular Dynamics International's training video for handling iCell cardiomyocytes. In this video, we will cover the proper handling technique for storing, thawing, seeding, plating, and maintaining iCell cardiomyocytes prior to performing your intended assays. Unlike other cells you may have worked with, iCell cardiomyocytes do not divide when cultured. Thus, proper handling during thawing and plating is critical to the cell's health. Carefully following the directions in this video and the user's guide will ensure your success. Handling, Storage, and Preparation Upon receipt, directly transfer the entire cryobox containing the iCell cardiomyocytes to the vapor phase of liquid nitrogen storage and transfer the frozen media directly to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Prior to thawing the cells, determine and prepare the plating platform of choice and thaw the iCell cardiomyocytes plating medium as directed in the user's guide. On the day of cell thaw, gather all the materials needed for thawing and plating prior to removing the cells from liquid nitrogen storage. Thawing iCell cardiomyocytes Prior to thawing the cells, remove iCell cardiomyocytes plating medium from 4 degrees Celsius storage and warm to room temperature on the benchtop. Spray iCell cardiomyocytes plating media with 70% ethanol and place in the hood. Maintain iCell cardiomyocytes in liquid nitrogen storage until immediately prior to thawing to ensure maximal performance of the cells. Thaw the cryovial by inserting it into a floating tube rack and placing in a 37 degrees Celsius water bath. Avoid submerging the cap. Thaw the cryovial for four minutes without disturbing the vial. Remove the cryovial from the water bath after four minutes. Spray the vial with 70% ethanol, wipe dry, and place in the hood. Carefully transfer the cryovial contents to a 50 milliliter conical tube using a 1 milliliter pipetter. Rinse the empty cryovial with 1 milliliter of room temperature plating medium to recover residual cells from the vial. Then add this 1 milliliter mixture of medium and residual cells dropwise over 90 seconds to the 50 milliliter conical tube. Thoroughly mix the cell suspension by swirling after the addition of each drop. Dropwise addition of the plating medium to the cell suspension is critical to minimize osmotic shock and ensure maximum viability and subsequent attachment of the cells to the plating substrate. Add 1 milliliter of room temperature plating medium dropwise to the 50 milliliter conical tube and continue to slowly add the remaining 7 milliliters. Gently swirl the tube while adding the medium. Gently mix the contents of the 50 milliliter conical tube by inverting it 2 to 3 times. The cell suspension is now ready for counting and plating. Accurate assessment of viable cell number is critical for the subsequent steps of this protocol. Always verify viable cell counts. Plating iCell cardiomyocytes iCell cardiomyocytes do not proliferate, and not all of the cells that are seeded into a well will adhere to the bottom. You must therefore calculate the number of seeded cells necessary to obtain the intended number of plated cells. The efficiency with which seeded cells adhere to the bottom of the well is termed plating efficiency and is listed on the Certificate of Analysis. Plating efficiency is batch-specific, and you must use the value found on the Certificate of Analysis for that particular batch of cells. Note that the calculations involved in determining seeding density are outlined in the User's Guide and will not be described here. To dilute cells to the appropriate density, Add the pre-calculated amount of plating medium to the 50 milliliter conical tube. Gently mix the contents by inverting the tube two to three times. Here we'll demonstrate seeding a 96 well plate that has already been coated with gelatin. Using a multi-channel aspirator, aspirate the gelatin solution from the coated 96 well plate. Gently mix the cell suspension and dispense to a solution basin. Then add seeding volume aliquots of cell suspension to each well using a multi-channel pipetter. 
Place the plate in a cell culture incubator at 37 degrees Celsius. Make sure the plate remains undisturbed for 48 hours. Maintenance, washing and feeding. Eye cell cardiomyocytes maintain a high purity for more than two weeks if maintained in eye cell cardiomyocytes maintenance medium. Prior to use, aliquot the appropriate amount of maintenance medium to a 50 milliliter conical tube and warm the maintenance medium to near 37 degrees Celsius by incubating in a water bath. Fill a solution basin with maintenance medium. Then pipette the plating medium up and down approximately three to five times while gently washing the surface of the plate to lift non-adherent cells and debris into suspension. Manually pipette off the plating medium to remove debris. Immediately add fresh maintenance medium to the wells. If excessive debris remains, aspirate the medium again and perform two washes with maintenance medium, gently rinsing the surface of the plate with each medium change. Exchange the maintenance medium every other day while maintaining the cells. Culture eye cell cardiomyocytes as outlined in the user's guide. Expected plating densities and cell behavior. This chapter illustrates the expected coverage and cell behavior at 48 and 96 hours and 7 days that can be obtained by following the plating instructions described in this video and the user's guide. At 48 hours, discrete areas have begun to beat. However, the cells have not yet formed a syncytial monolayer. Note that media exchange can temporarily increase or decrease the cell's beat rate. You should make your observations of the beating behavior before or well after the media exchange. This next image illustrates the eye cell cardiomyocytes at 96 hours. Note that the cells exhibit synchronous beating at this stage. At seven days, the cells continue to exhibit synchronous beating. Summary. In this video, we covered the proper handling technique for storing, thawing, seeding, plating, and maintaining eye cell cardiomyocytes prior to performing your intended assays. The key points to remember in handling eye cell cardiomyocytes are, be gentle when reconstituting and plating the cells. Confirm the cell count before plating. Be thorough when washing off debris 48 hours post seeding. Thank you for watching this video. We strongly recommend that you follow these techniques and the user's guide in working with eye cell cardiomyocytes.